Hey there broskies, so Waggy here and back with some Tales of Crystoria reroll guide if you have an emulator. It makes it so much easier. I recommend LD Player since it is what I use. I do have to thank Reddit for this tutorial as I, as I found the initial steps there. I'll be posting a link of the thread in the description below. But before we begin, to my subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in again. Much appreciated. If you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing as we cover tips and tricks of games such as Tales of Crystoria. Also, if you get the error 60 while trying to run Tales of Crystoria on LD Player, you just need to turn off root access and restart your emulator. More on this later. So first of all, you need to have a clean emulator with no files installed. Then you need two things. Tales of Crystoria and Root Browser. Root Browser can be downloaded in the LD store right there in front of you. You need to run through the whole normal process once, skipping through the tutorial and everything, you have to do that once until you get to the point where you can summon. So you summon. After your first summon, if you are not satisfied with it, then go ahead and close Tales of Crystoria. Then follow what I do. Number 1. Turn on root permission on the LD player settings on the upper right hand side of your screen. Number 2. Restart your emulator. Number 3, open root browser. Number 4, go to data. Data, com that Bandai Namco content, I think. Just I'll be I'll be posting it in the description below. And delete shared preps folder. Next, look for files and inside find zero and then delete user.bin. Then turn off root access. After that, go ahead and close your emulator. You then proceed to clone this emulator. Again, do not use this emulator ever again. Use the clones instead. So follow my video to proceed. I will clone it 4 times, you can do as much as you want.
Then I'll turn on the synchronization in the emulator. After that, we then proceed on one emulator as everything else will follow. And then you proceed with the whole tutorial and then the skipping and then until you get to the summon part. And then that's it. All of your emulators will be doing the same thing and they'll be summoning at the same time and then you just get to pick which account you want to keep. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If it has helped you, consider liking the video and leaving a comment that would greatly help us. If you want to see more tips and tricks, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you in the next video. Oh.